Hey guys, Hilton here with the L Sky Actions, and um, tonight I'm going to be doing a, another video tutorial. A wonderful photographer sent me this image. Um, I saw this on the forum, I believe, or the fan page, and it really caught my eye, and I told her to send it to me. I just love it. So, Ashley Young, she's the great photographer who took this. Ashley, if you're listening out there, thank you so much for sending this over to me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, she actually, well, first I'd like to go in and say the composition is fantastic. Um, I mean, the focal point goes straight to that, to, to her right eye, and that's where you want it to go. Um, and it, in her eyes, the subject's beautiful. The eyes are captivating. So much contrast in those beautiful blue eyes. Um, and she shot this with a Canon EOS Digital Rebel. The lens she shot this with was the 50mm 1.4, and her exposure was f2.8 at 1 500th of a second, and her ISO is at 400. Ashley, if you're listening out there, um, the exposure, I think it's good. It's good exposure. If I were to shoot with your equipment, I would have shot a little bit different. So if you're listening, this is what I would have shot at. Um, with the 50mm 1.4, first of all, that's a prime lens. Anytime, if you newbies out there listening to this, anytime you're shooting with a prime lens, you want to make sure ISO is at 100, especially if you're shooting outdoors in natural light. And the reason why you want to shoot at 100 ISO is because you want it to be you want it to be as clean as possible. And if you're shooting even at 400, 400 is average, you know, speed. But if you're you, you're you're using that aperture and your aperture is really you know, or you have an option to shoot at 1.4, you can bump it down. Now with the Rebel, I don't know if you're able to go to 100. I don't use the Rebel. Um, even if you can go below 400, 200, even 200 is, is fine. But if you have the option to go to 100, go to shoot at 100. It's going to be cleaner. Um, you're not going to deal with any of the grain. Um, so, okay, this would have been what my exposure, you know, what I would have shot at. Um I would have shot at 2.0 aperture, and the reason I wouldn't have shot at 1.4, just because the 50 millimeter 1.4, if you're shooting at 1.4 or 1.6 or even 1.8, 1.8 pushing it. But with my experience, the quality of the lens, it's a great lens, but the quality, uh, it's it's really hard to um, to focus and and get it, get the subject that you want in focus if you're shooting at 1.4 or 1.6. So I would have shot at 2.0 um, and my ISO would have been at 100. Um, the shutter speed would have been around 1 100th of a second or 1 80th of a second and that's what my exposure would have been. I can tell you that right now. Um, so again, Ashley, great photo. Here's the before. This is straight out of the camera and here's what we're going to end up with. It's vibrant. There's a lot of color. Uh, really brings her eyes out, and um, and I love it. So I'm gonna show you how we did it. So we used um, we used six actions from the, and we're gonna be doing uh, working in the big bundle set for CS3 to CS5 tonight. Um, the first action I start off with was this time to shine. So I preload these for you guys, so it's, it'll move much smoother and faster. So there we go. That's his time to shine. The next action I ran was Autumn Sensation. Um, so once I ran that, I painted off of the um, the green grass because I wanted the green to room, to keep that vibrant vibrance that it has. Um, so once I ran Autumn Sensation, I ran Orange Astic to give it more of that warmth and to really make those eyes pop even more. Um, the next step. I use Dodge It Burn It and I'll show you what I did. First I'm going to use Dodge It and I'm going to zoom in and notice how her eyes are just naturally they have so much contrast, darks, lights. Um, I, I can, I'll have a, I have a heyday working with these these um, types of subjects with with the eyes that really have this much contrast because it's you can really push the envelope without 
going overboard a lot of times. Um, you get really caught up. Sometimes when you have a person with, you know, you want to really enhance the eyes, and um, and you do, but because they don't have all the contrast like this subject does, it really doesn't look natural, and it really looks overboard. So, but you can do that with this with this subject, and I'm gonna show you how we did it. So, um, dodge it. We're gonna uh, make sure that the foreground's white. The brush opacity is gonna be 20%, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna brighten the brights and darken the darks. So first we're going to use Dodge It and we're just going to brighten these bright areas up. Just like that. Okay. All right, next step, we're going to go to dodge it, same thing. We're going to but we're going to darken the dark areas. So we're really going to give it that contrast and make those eyes pop. Even around the rim, we're going to darken the rim. All right, same thing over on this side. Brighten the brights. All right. And then we're going to darken the darks. And what we're going to do is, we're even going to brighten these whites right here. All right, same thing on this side. And this side's brighter because that's the side that the light is on, the natural light, the sun. So. All right. Let's zoom out. Wow. Beautiful eyes. Um, okay. So the next step, you're going to want to flatten all this. And the next action that we're going to run is an action called Complexion Perfection. And I have talked about this action plenty of times in previous videos. You always want to run Complexion Perfection by itself. It just runs better, smoother. Um, so whenever you run it, make sure that all the other actions that you're running are flattened. Um, so we ran that. We're going to run it 100% um, brush opacity. And I'm just going to zoom in and show you what this guy does. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to brush it on. It's very natural smoothing. And it just gets rid of all the, the bumps and the blemishes. What we want, what we want it to do. Shrink the brush just a little bit. Get in here. Perfect. Okay. Next step, we're going to flatten it. Get this. I can go on for days. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to flatten this. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
See how grainy this is in the background right back here? We can even use the complexion perfection on that as well to really smooth it out. It's a good softening brush as well. See, look at that. Perfect. Okay, we're going to flatten it. And then the last step, I'm going to show you guys, and I always do this too. See these dark circles, these dark areas around the eyes? Everybody's got them. It's shadows, and we're going to get rid of those. So in order to do that, we're going to duplicate. We're going to go to the brush. Make sure it's dropped down around 30%. Drop the size, and what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this picker, this color picker, and we're going to pick, all you have to do is pick a color underneath the uh, dark circle. And then we're going to go back to the brush, at 30% brush opacity, we're just going to brush, ooh, that's not good. I wonder what it did. Make sure it's picking the right color here. There we go. Okay. Make sure it picks the right color underneath the eye. Brush is selected. Brush opacity 30%, 25%, and we're just going to brush this on, just like that. Maybe even make the brush larger, cover this area in here and blend it in. Perfect. Now on the other side, same thing. Pick from this area. All right, last step, we're gonna zoom in and see these veins in her eyes, in the whites of her eyes, we're gonna get rid of those. I'll show you how we do it. All we're gonna do is pick from the white with a color picker, drop the brush size, and we're gonna paint it on. It's gonna be very subtle. Very, very subtle. Same thing on this side. Perfect. All right. And there you have it. There you have it. Voila. So, um, Ashley, thank you so much for sending this over. Beautiful image. Uh, can't wait to post this for all you uh, photographers out there to see. If you guys have any comments, questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm always around. You guys have a swell night.